Liam Payne from One Direction has died after a fall from his hotel balcony in Argentina. He was just 31 years old. Yeah, it's understood several witnesses at the hotel where he was staying in Buenos Aires. It says he fell from his room on the third floor of the hotel. At this stage, it's not known if it was intentional or accidental. Let's bring in our US Bureau Chief David Woodward and entertainment editor Peter Ford. Dave, first to you. This must be sending shockwaves across the US. Yeah, it certainly is. In fact, all the major network uh, networks across the United States, they have just broken into regular programming to uh, break this news that very tragically the 31-year-old singer has died in Buenos Aires, Argentina. Look, uh, information at the moment, it is incredibly scant. We've got a few lines com coming out of those emergency crews on the ground. Look, they have reported that Payne had fallen, as you pointed out there, from the third floor of a hotel building in the Palermo area. Uh, Payne, uh, his body had been found within a courtyard, we are told, of that hotel. And the exact circumstances now surrounding that fall are the subject of a major police investigation, of course. Uh, Payne, he was such a superstar, such an integral part of the uh, boy band One Direction, and we've already he heard so much uh, reaction from those fans. Look, he wasn't uh, a stranger to controversy himself. In fact, there had been those allegations surrounding him and his relationship with his ex-girlfriend, and he had faced some extreme backlash regarding accusations of abuse there. So uh, we don't know anything surrounding these circumstances, but, of course, incredibly sad. He is the father uh, of one boy, a young son called Bear. So uh, the world is just reacting to that news now, guys. Yeah, let's go to Peter Ford now. The tributes have started coming in. Yes, the first one is from Paris Hilton. She has indicated she has some personal connection to him, referring to him as a friend. But I don't doubt that as the hours go on, we'll hear a lot more from people in the industry. Clearly, the people we're particularly keen to hear from are people like Simon Cowell and also his other former fellow uh, band members. I mean, Liam was still enormously popular. I mean, of all the members who've gone out and had solo careers, they've all been successful to varying degrees. Now, in the case of Liam, just to indicate how popular he still is, is he's got 27 million followers on Twitter. He's got 33 million followers on Instagram. So he's got a huge following. And I think these days, because of things like Instagram and Twitter, fans feel more connected than ever to their idols, to their fans. You feel like you're part of their lives because people will share so much with you and so therefore fans will be devastated by this news. The details are of course pretty sketchy but the Sun newspaper is reporting that sometime earlier the police had been called to deal with Liam because he had been acting in an aggressive manner and they took him back to his hotel room. The report says he had in fact broken his laptop or smashed up his laptop. So the question will now need to to be asked, you know, should they have, mm. if he was in such a difficult, deranged state, should they have taken him back to the hotel room there mm. and left him? Now, I think it is significant that he's fallen from the third floor of the hotel. That would suggest, perhaps, that if it was an intentional thing, you maybe wouldn't do it from the third floor. So there is a lot yet to be discovered. There clearly would have to be a full police investigation, a coroner's investigation. This is all literally unfolded in the last 30 minutes. Now, Pete, you talk about the following on social media and the access that fans get, but we got access as a young teenager on X Factor, didn't we, of Liam, and essentially saw him grow through One Direction yeah. and the, the bandmates that he had on tour and the fans that they would draw. Yeah, you, you look at that, that group of young guys, you know, they were thrown together but became a huge international success. I mean, we only have to, have to remember a few years back those scenes of frenzied teenagers when they came to Australia to visit. I mean, they just had the whole world at their feet. But then, of course, as all boy bands do eventually, they go off on their solo careers and he was doing really well for himself. So there had been, obviously, in the past, he's talked about mental health struggles that he's had. Recently, there's been a breakup, and I heard Cooper talking about the fact that a cease and desist letter had been sent to him in recent days. But even as recently as just like over an hour ago, he was uploading onto Snapchat. So you would seem, if you were in a greatly troubled state, you wouldn't necessarily be putting stuff up on Snapchat and assuming it was him personally doing it. So 
Much yet to be discovered in this story. Yeah, you know what, Pete? You never know. You do not no. know what is happening in someone's life, behind closed True. doors, in someone's mind. That is what we know for sure. Thank you both. We will cross back to you and uh, right through the day through 7 News. We'll have more in a moment. This is Sunrise on 7 and streaming on 7 Plus.